Welcome everybody to our time of evening prayer today on Friday the 11th of June. Today on the 11th of June the church celebrates the life of Barnabas the Apostle and though not, not named among the 12 apostles or the evangelists, Barnabas emerges in the Acts of the Apostles as one of the most significant of their number. He sold his estate and gave the proceeds to the church. Since all things were, were to be held in common, and clearly became a leader. He's described as a Levite from Cyprus, so, like his friend Paul, was from the Greek world rather than that of Palestine. And he introduced Paul to the leaders of the church in Jerusalem. He was sent to Antioch, apparently, to guide the Christians there in their relations with non-Jewish converts, prompting the concept of all being one in Christ. He broke with Paul to go to Cyprus, and tradition has it that he was martyred there in the year 61. And so today the church celebrates the life of Barnabas, Apostle. And so we begin our time of evening prayer with our prayers of preparation. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and to set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. The appointed psalm for today's evening prayer is Psalm number 147. Alleluia, how good is it to make music for the Lord, for how joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, nor delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Sing praises to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his commands to the earth and his world runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool and scatters the hoarfrost like ashes. He casts down his hailstones like morsels of bread. Who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind and the waters flow. He declares the word of, to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first lesson is from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verses 9 to 14. Besides being wise, the teacher also taught the people knowledge, weighing and studying and arranging many proverbs. The teacher sought to find pleasing words and he wrote words of truth plainly. The sayings of the wise are like goads and like nails firmly fixed are the collected sayings that are given by one shepherd. Of anything beyond these, my child, beware. Of making many books there is no end and much study is a weariness of the flesh. 
the end of the matter. All has been heard. Fear God and keep his commandments, for that is the whole duty of everyone. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Here ends our first lesson and our canticle. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh and vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. Believed in throughout the world, he was taken up in glory. This will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only sovereign, who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. To the King of kings and Lord of lords be honour and eternal dominion. Amen. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. Our second lesson today is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verses 26 to 31. When he had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples, and they were all afraid of him, for they did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him, brought him to the apostles, and described for them how on the road he had seen the Lord, who had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken boldly in the name of Jesus. So he went in and among them in Jerusalem, speaking boldly in the house of the Lord. He spoke and argued with the Hellenists, but they were attempting to kill him. When the believers learned of it, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. Meanwhile, the church throughout Judea, Galilee and Samaria had peace and was built up, living in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. It increased in numbers. Here ends our second lesson and our responsory. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. And the Magnificat. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly, he has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. And so in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. that you will give us a quiet mind and a perfect end. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will have mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will keep us this night without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guard us and give us your blessing. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bring us with St. Barnabas, St. Giles, St. Asaph, St. David and all your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. And so let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. In our worldwide calendar of prayer today, we pray for the Diocese of Western North Carolina in the Episcopal Church in the United States of America. In our own diocesan calendar of prayer, we continue this month to pray for the Mould Mission Area and for Carol Poolman, their mission area leader. 
for Archdeacon John, Archdeacon of Wrexham, and for Gregory, our Bishop, for all his ministry for and among us. We continue to pray for all those developing, producing and rolling out the vaccine. For Colin and all people in nursing and residential homes. And for Daniel and all those in prison. And for their families. We pray for Jane and the chaplaincy team at the Myla Hospital. And for Alan and the chaplaincy team at HMP Berwyn. We pray for those known to us in any kind of need at this time. Those who have asked us to pray for them and those who have nobody to pray for them. We remember before God, Richard, Tim, Louise, Derek, Joanne, Mo, Malcolm, Gordon, James, Mal, Anne, Nancy, Bob, Peggy, Mark, Harry, Dot, Mavanwi, Chris, Peter, Joshua and Gwen. We pray for those who find themselves bereaved at this time. For Paul, Fermain, Katie and their family. For Jill and Peter Waters. For Judith Gammon and her family. And for the family of Margaret Davis. And we pray for our dearly beloved who are departed. For Diana Fermin, Simon Waters, Kate Gammon and Margaret Davis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And our colic for today. Bountiful God, giver of all gifts, who poured your spirit upon your servant Barnabas and gave him grace to encourage others, help us by his example to be generous in our judgments and unselfish in our service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We share in the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And so let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.